hello traders at samurai trader here welcome to this training session in today's session I'm going to be covering some general questions sent to me by the general public from my youtube channel and also from my members about trading specifically day trading the FX markets but remember the setups and strategies work just as well when you are swing trading as well I'm going to also record a second session for our members only which will be posted on my Google Drive today where I'll explain the and perhaps we'll look at a number of setups uh, for day trading the Forex markets because we'll go into the rules and setups etc more and better uh, examples in the second recording and session three I've actually already did that I did that I've uh, recorded that yesterday and that's already been posted on my Google Drive so let's get into it because there's a lot of things I want to cover and I want to give you some incredible value here but as we get underway I just want to uh, bring this up uh, Richard Gere uh, I think is a fantastic actor and I love this quote that he's got I am old but I'm forever young at heart we are always the same age inside and um, uh, I just love this because as I'm getting older of course you become more philosophical on life specifically or particularly when I bring this up one of my kids was going through some photos the other day and uh, they sent this uh, photo to me they emailed it and said uh, dad this is what you looked like um, all those years ago so that's a good uh, I don't know, I think it must be 16 17 years ago that particular one and uh, just start looking at what trading can do to you traders this is me today so uh, you can see here the differences in the hair color uh, uh, fortunately I've actually lost a little weight compared to uh, that specific photo there but um, uh, but it truly is a privilege to uh, be trading and uh, I just love trading as a lifestyle but uh, over time for most of us yes it will send you gray anyway let's move uh, more into the serious business of trading uh, understanding the risk traders uh, all trading carries risk uh, and that's one of the very reasons why you need to get the right education if you're currently uh, day trading or swing trading not making money stop trading your real account until you do get your trading right and of course never trade with the rent money so if you haven't read one of my disclaimers before please do require by law to put that up now also we are going to be looking at some charts in a moment I just want to show you some differences specifically on time frames and some other things so at the bottom right hand corner here you can go down here to actually go to full screen if you wish this may make it a little easier now this is for the benefit uh, of specifically for my members some of the newer ones and actually even those that are not members this is a uh, part of uh, some of my Google Drive uploads now with our new website in the members area that's uh, about to be completed you'll have your all of this will be uploaded into the new members area but for those members if you just as a reminder please check in to the Google Drive at least twice three times a week and look at the latest dates and you'll see they're all in dated order now and you'll just check the new files for an example uh, I've just opened up a file now for NLP techniques Sierra charts think or swim we've got a lot of trading ebooks in there now some fantastic ebooks of course the NT7 indicators trade station and we're now opening up files here for some of our active members that are contributing with their videos recordings and written materials so as more of our members are contributing I'll open up files under their individual names so th for those that uh, are gaining a following you'll be able to go and see some of the things that they're doing and of course on the new website there will be a blog where you'll be able to communicate uh, directly so for the general public we've got uh, besides a day traders fast rank track program having a huge amount of resources uh, in it within itself a lot of things that you don't see on YouTube of course you know on my Google Drive there's uh, even more there and I upload new materials each week and before we get into it just quick advertisement for $197 traders you get the most comprehensive program in the world today I, I can say that openly I've been in this business for 24 years 
you name it I've probably bought it I'm a researcher I've invested a lot of money in this business and I can tell you there's nothing as comprehensive as what I'm giving you for a once only fee there is no upsell except for our live trading room which we're launching very very soon so if you haven't got my ebook uh, please go to my website but also subscribe to my channel most importantly become a member and you'll get just an incredible amount of value it's my obsession trading is my obsession so I want to deliver the best so let's get into this so which market stocks Forex or futures well in this specific recording I'm going to focus in on Forex trading because we still have probably 20% of our members are Forex traders uh, a lot of them are day traders and we have a lot of swing traders so I've just been asked some specific questions from uh, traders on which markets and why and uh, just some other general advice before we get into the trading strategies themselves so traders here are some of the key considerations that we have first of all the markets themselves now what I like when it comes to Forex trading I'm after markets with lower spreads good volat uh, volatility and liquidity of course now on the, let's just flick to this slide here and this is perhaps a little out of date but just because you've got incredible volatility as uh, and range as we can see uh, down the bottom here is a, the pound Australian dollar what I don't like is incredible chop I like a good trending market so that's something that I just want you to consider which are my favorite markets well personally I still love the uh, Aussie dollar USD I like the uh, euro dollar USD even over volatility may be lower today um, uh, you know once again all markets have different personalities and extreme volatility can make me uncomfortable because you can be whipsawed and chopped around and sometimes that can really conflict with some of the trading strategies that I have so um, my my favorite the Aussie dollar and the euro dollar remembering though that nearly uh, most of my trading now is futures trading uh, basically 99.9% .9 of it but as a very active past Forex trader it's still a great market uh, but let's look at some other considerations of that as well now time frames uh, is something I want to cover if you trade with say MT4 you're restricted because you don't have tick charts or range charts unless you buy a plugin now to buy a plugin to allow you to trade tick or range charts is only 30 to 50 dollars they're not all that expensive and if you go and google it or if you go into one of the trading forums uh, look for a, a plug-in for range or tick that is my preferred method of trading Forex now I'm going to be quoting some statistics in a moment from time-based charts from some of my research going back seven or eight years ago because you'll find a couple of things interesting that I've been asked by the general public I want to show you but uh, I really prefer range or tick now a lot of things can happen in a time-based chart that is in five minutes uh, there can be a lot of trading and of course you can capitalize that easier in my opinion on tick or range but we'll have a look at that in more detail when I go to the charts in a moment now time of day is very very important point three here key trading sessions I'm going to show you a chart in a moment of a trading methodology that absolutely can kick butt big time I'm going to um, uh, show the general public this one I'm open because I've spoken about it in some of my YouTube videos and I've received I'd say at least 30 emails from the general public asking me about it so I'm happy to share some information with you on it uh, but what is really important as you will see when we get to this is the time now what I'm after is volatility I'm after the trends I don't like choppy markets nor does this strategy I'm about to show you so the London open the New York open of course during the Asian Asian session excuse me by the way pronouncing the words here it's been a long uh, late morning um, you can really go into periods and even during the other key times periods of chops so what I'm after is the best trading times where I've got liquidity and I've got range 
now point four is something that's really important and very dear to my heart is the brokers you trade with when you trade a futures contract you're only paying between three dollars fifty and a maximum of five dollars round turn per contract you trade so every time you trade if uh, it's it's basically a maximum of five dollars if you're trading a standard lot with Forex uh, even though you'll see brokers will show you uh, you know 0.6 of a uh, a pip etc which is six dollars on a standard lot USD in commissions but you know still generally speaking I'm seeing on the euro dollar around the one and a half to two and a half ticks per trade now that's 15 to 25 dollars brokerage uh, on each trade that can really eat into your profits particularly if you're day trading or you're scalping the markets so I want you to be really conscious of this now there's been uh, the regulators globally have really come down and there's been a lot of changes in the Forex broking market globally I recommend that you run with a broker that's an ECN that's got no dealing desk that is direct access electronics uh, communication networks is what ECN stands for and you want to try to avoid I highly recommend you avoid those with a dealing desk and we still see some brokers are still running stops etc where if you look at the market what the market is doing uh, it hasn't spiked but yet brokers will still run stops now fortunately the regulators globally are really coming down on brokers and there's been some huge fines levied against brokers globally including the US uh, the UK Europe so just uh, make sure that you're dealing with a regulated broker that uh, and preferably they're uh, an ECN just be very very aware of this traders please now on that also nearly every broker still runs even if they have an ECN desk uh, sorry no dealing desk they still have an A and B book now what that means traders is that if you are a uh, trading a micro lot or a mini uh, contract do you think that goes directly into the market like a standard lot where they're grouping them together no most brokers will carry have what they call an A and B book and they will uh, basically carry the wins and losses of the mini and micro accounts themselves and the reason they do that is because they've got to aggregate uh, a large volume of trades to put into the market and of course most mini and micro account uh, holders lose their money anyway so it can be very profitable for a broker but just the little things that the general public is not aware uh, what really happens in the business so just to quickly recap on this then uh, it is becoming fairer because of thanks to the regulators uh, there still is uh, spiking in the market and stops being run we still see that and I hear that uh, every week from those who trade Forex so just be very aware of that so really do your research on the broker now the fifth point here is the strategies now I'm going to go into these in more depth on the recorded session which uh, for my members this we posted in the on on the Google Drive today where we'll briefly talk about these but what's not on there is also the rule of two. Oh no there it is they have the rule of two which I absolutely love uh, on range charts uh, on in the Forex markets and I've done a lot of research on that in the past for a prop firm back in 2009 and it was extremely profitable extremely so uh, there's some great trades here but the T1 T2 rule of two uh, the T18 uh, the 34B uh, they're all with trend and as I say with all trading until you're consistently profitable traders trade with the trend now remember your t20 and t21s are your change in trend and trend confirmation and pivot bounces work really well uh, you you know we'll look at some t19s and t89s which I absolutely love in the market but one thing to be really aware of in trading Forex traders is red flag news I, I'm not a news trader I know some people do it really well but just be very very aware and also remembering when you're trading uh, using range or tick 
just be aware if you're looking at the charts and you know, see some beautiful moves just put your cursor on there and just check out how quickly was a move unlike a time chart where if a candle is forming over a one three five minute or whatever time frame you're changing you're, you're trading it's forming one candle or one bar with range and tick of course you can get many candles form and if you're doing back testing it can actually give you an artificial skew usually in the positive now this is something I just want to cover before we go to the charts to do a fractal something that comes up on a regular basis where I talk about fractals is that trading with fractals can be extremely profitable the typical fractal break is where you're taking a fractal to the right horizontally and waiting for price to close above that point but you've heard me talk about or most members have heard me talk about fractal trading drawing your trend lines uh, if you're going to go long you want to see your trend line go down uh, if you want to um, go uh, short you want to see a trend line rising and the break under that using fractal points and I just want to show you a study which I've mentioned in previous videos which I've had uh, a lot of emails about now this is a study that we undertook back in uh, it's actually 2009 now I just went through some of their research reports and what we what we did here was is this is on the euro dollar on a seven range is we took a fractal point and you can see those dots of fractal points and did our trend lines and we we're waiting for the break and see the arrow so we went long here we shorted here we went long here we shorted there okay we went long here and you can see here that we're up 20 ticks 20 20 minus 4 and the rules were traders that we had a 20 point target and we allowed a three pip spread so in other words to succeed it had to go a full 23 pips and we had a 17 point initial stop and the bottom line result was uh, week after week we were averaging around 160 pips net so if you were trading a standard contract that's sixteen hundred dollars on a standard lot with a relatively uh, so an average total uh, stop loss of 20 pips so 17 plus 3 being your spread of 20 now I mentioned time to you before and this is something uh, where you could get chopped up or where you do get chopped up of course in these periods of consolidation because where you take your fractal breaks uh, you can see here you had an entry here see the fractal to fractal you missed out on this one there was no fractal so we made it 100% mechanical so there's no questions on personal discretion okay and your entry was here okay uh, down uh, where do we have one here then we had another entry here another one uh, uh, went here so this is what you want to be aware of and really watch those so but fractal trading using fractals or trend lines uh, still today can work really well so where you've got and the best markets to trade are where you've got volatility and some really good trends you want to avoid these choppy areas now before we go to the chart here just a quick recap again of course you've got minute charts which are based on time so one minute uh, for your rule scalpers three five minutes what you've got to watch is uh, of course and where you can be killed on scalping Forex is the spread it makes a huge difference now then you've got volume bars which you can't get uh, uh, on Forex um, so a volume you can't have but of course you can have that on futures and stocks etc so then it comes down to really your tick and your range and they're very very popular particularly with the day traders and you got what I call your exotics which are Renko point and figure line break etc uh, Renko uh, we've done a lot of work on Renko in the past and got some great results from Renko but what generally works better for me in my opinion is range I just love range charts so let's kind of have a look at some charts uh, to begin with so let's duck across here so traders what I've got here on the left I've got the Aussie dollar three range so it's a really low time frame 
on the right hand side I've got one minute now it really comes down to the selection of a time frame is how active you want to be so for the Asian market of course it's generally speaking very very quiet so we can see we've got uh, lots of candles um, uh, but what I don't like about uh, time based charts is it can be very very choppy it tends to let me just expand this for you it throws it all out uh, liquidity this time of day it is uh, 1131 a.m. here in Australia so liquidity can be a problem but there's still some great patterns so for those members we know we've got a 34b here you've got a t20 you've got a 200 bounce so you've got some still some really good setups that you can trade your t2 still work really well uh, my favorite and if we look at this one here by the way we're looking now at a three range my favorite used to be a seven to eight range if you want to be more of a swing trader maybe going out to a 13 range uh, tick by the way I like the 89 tick on the euro dollar or on the Aussie dollar and we can see here I've dropped the time frame down and this is over an 11 hour period basically so between there and here this is basically 11 hours and that's on a three range so we can see here that we haven't had a, uh, a huge amount of action here but on our rule of two and on the next video I'm going to go more into the rule of two etc but for the general public uh, you get some great patterns appear like this is what we call our t7 our nice there's a really great double top here you've got your, uh, your your bounces your 200 your 89 bounces etc you get some great divergence trades and we can see one there look at uh, our platinum great divergence price yes it's down a little I know but it's once again two or three pips to me that still forms a good double top like you've got a really nice one here so the great thing about trading Forex is you've just got great patterns in it now because of lack of action you may trade two or three markets and for the Forex traders and for the general public you may have heard me talk about this really focus on one time frame one market particularly in futures if you're trading the lower time frames because you have so many trades come up so that's a consideration is to maybe trade more markets because you're not going to get a lot of action uh, unless you're trading around news which I don't recommend anyway now what we're looking at here is the euro dollar five range once again if you want a lot more as far as price action goes or, or a lot more trades you need to drop down from a five range down to maybe a two or three range now another huge benefit of course with Forex trading is the account size which is another question I, I receive a, a number of times if you're going to trade futures realistically if you're going to stay within your two percent max risk which you must do if you're going to succeed as a trader if you're risking any more than two percent I believe your days are numbered you really need to be conservative on your account size on your risk management now you can start trading minis or micros and most traders of course will go for a mini so you can open up your account realistically with around well even less than a thousand dollars but around a thousand dollars compared to four to five thousand dollars if you're going to stay within the risk parameters I recommend on futures so you also may start trading Forex and then advance into futures they trade similar not exactly the same because every market's got its own personality and that's another great thing when you focus on a market where you get to have a favorite market you get to know its personality now one of the things that I do love about Forex and perhaps we'll look at this more in the in the members video are these price extremes in our separations I call these snapbacks now these sort of snapbacks uh, you see in the Forex market uh, every day and I love them yes they are a counter trend trade I would not recommend brand new uh, traders trade them until you're really competent uh, with trend trading but they're also very very successful all right they're a great trade so uh, let's off what I was going to show you also sorry is the 89 tick so this uh, is let me just scroll this over for you 
so what we're looking at here is today's price action uh, on the 89 tick now once again look at your 200 your 89 look at that support and just bouncing around because you've got so many technical based traders basically use 200 as their main guide and you'll see that regularly and let's just quickly go back so if we look here at the differences so this is from 140 this morning on the range so that's all you've seen and this is from 8 a.m. this morning so you can see here on the 89 tick you're going to generally get a lot more trading action than what you will on range so horses for courses now I know some traders have said look can you give me definite guidance what to focus on and uh, Charles this guy you come to mind Charles knows who I'm talking about I asked Charles um, for his opinion on a couple of things and he said look just tell a trader exactly what they should be doing well traders I like range specifically when it comes to the rule of two which I'll go into in much greater detail in the members area and also for members remember to check the Excel spreadsheet uh, with your program the day traders fast track program because there's already four or five videos there on Forex trading all right and where I go into the rule of two and also on futures trading but I love the rule of two on uh, range charts it just it's just really smooth and very very easy to trade so traders uh, I've covered a, a fair amount of information this has gone nearly 30 minutes now so if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel I uh, will be doing more of these videos uh, as we're moving along and better still become a member and you get all of this and um, by the way we've now got uh, indicators for MT4 think or swim uh, I just had uh, uh, Sam thank you Sam just sent through his indicators for Sierra charts of course trade station ninja trader so we've just about uh, got indicators for uh, all markets now and they're included in your membership to the day traders fast track program so please go to my website and join us for $197 or request my ebook thank you very much traders and I'll see you members I'll see you on session two thank you